Chapter 21 Otter's Note Fuck you, okay? You fucking suck. It's not my fault if it's spelt wrong, okay? Cause that bitch raven, cause it fuck you preps. <laughs> Whoops, so saws raven, thanks for the help. BTW, Transylvania rocks hard. I even got to go to the real castle where Drukula was filmed. Later we all went in the skull. Draco was crying in the common room. Draco, are you okay? I asked in a gothic voice. No, I'm not, you fucking bitch. He shouted angrily. He stated to run out of the place in a suicidal way. I stated to cry because I was afraid he would commit suicide. It's okay, Ebony, said Vampire comfortly. comfortly. I'll make him feel better. You mean you'll go fuck him, won't you? I shouted angrily. Then I ran to get Draco. Vampire came too. Draco, please come. He began to cry. Tears of blood came down his pale face. I was so turned on because I love sensitive bi guys. If you're a homophone, <laughs> then fuck off. And then he heard some footsteps. Vampire got out of his black invisible coke. We both got under it. We saw the janitor Mr. Norris there, shouting angrily with a flashlight in his hand. Who's there? he shouted angrily. We saw Filch come. He went under the invisibility cloak and started to meow <laughs> loudly. Is anyone there? yelled Mr. Norms. Norse? No, fuck you, you preppy little poser son of a bitch. Vampire said under his breath in a disgusted way. Excuse me, excuse me, who said that? yelled Mr. Norris. Then he heard Filch meow. Filch, Filt, is there anyone under the cloak? He asked. Filt nodded and then Vampire Frenched me. <laughs> he did it just as Mr. Norse was talking, taking of the cloak. What the? He yelled, but it was too late because we were running away from him. And then we saw Draco crying, busting into tears and slitting his wrists outside the school. Draco, I cried, are you okay? I guess, though. Draco wept. We went back to our coffins, Frenching each other. Draco and I decided to watch Lake Placid. See, it's that depressing. On the gothic red bed together. As I was about to put in the video, my, oil, my eyes rolled back up and suddenly I had a vision of someone that was ha something that was happening now. There was a knock on the door and Fug and the mystery of magic walked into the school. Chapter 22 Otter's Note STFU Preps Stop flaming, okay? If you didn't like it, fuck off. I know it's Mr. Norris, it's Raven's fault, okay? You suck. No, just kidding, Raven. I fucking... You fucking rock. Perhaps suck. All day, everyone talked about the mis misery of magic. Well, anyway... What? I woke up the next day. I was in my coffin, so I opened the door. I was wearing black, lacy, leather pajamas. Then I gasped. Standing in front of me were Bloody Mary, Vampire, Diabolo, Draco, Dracula, and Willow. I opened my crimson eyes. Willow was wearing a tight black leather top with pictures of bloody roses all over it. Under that she wore a black poofy skirt with lace on it and black gothic boots that was attached to the top. Vampire were, was wearing a blaggy simple plan t-shirt and baggy black pants and vans. Draco was wearing a black MCR t-shirt and black jeans and a black leather jacket. He looked just like Gerard Way 
and almost as fucking sexy. Vampire looked like Joel Madden. Bloody Mary was wearing a tight black poofy gothic dress that she had ripped so it showed off all her cleavage with a white apron that said Bick <laughs> and other swear words and MCR lyrics on it kind of like one dress I had seen Amy Lee wear once. <laughs> Darkness was there too. She was weaving a ripped gothic dress with ripped stuff all over it and a lace up top thing and black pointy boots. So were Crab and Goyle. It turned out that Darkness Diabolo, Crab and Goyle's dad was a vampire. He committed suicide by slitting his wrists with a razor. He had raped them and stuff before too. <laughs> They all got so depressed that th they became gothic and converted to stam stanism. OMFG, I yelled as I jumped up. Why are you fucking all... Why the fuck are you all here? Ebony, something is really fucked up, Draco said. Okay, but I need to put my fucking clothes on first, I shouted angrily. It's alright, we have to go now. You look kawaii anyway. <laughs> You're so fucking beautiful, Draco said in a sexy voice. Oh, all right, I said, smiling, but you have to tell me why you're being so erective. <laughs> <laughs> I will, I will, he said. So I just put on some black eyeliner, black lipstick, and red eyeshadow and white foundation. Then I came. We all went outside the great hall and looked in from a window. A fucking prep called Brittany from Gryffindor was standing next to us. She was wearing a pink mini and a Hillary Duff t-shirt. So we put up our middle fingers at her. Inside the Great Hall we could see Dumbledore. Cornelia Fudge Fudged was there shouting at Dumbledore. Doris Rumbridge was there too. This cannot be, she shouted angrily. The school must be closed. The Bark Lord is planning to kill the students, yelled Cornelia Fudge. You are not fit to be principal any longer, yelled Rumbridge. You are too old and your Alzheimer's is dangerous. You must retry or Voldemort will kill your students. Very well, Dumbledore said angrily. But we cannot do this. We cannot close the school. There is only one person who is capable of killing Voldemort and she is in this school. And her name is Enony Darkness Dementia Raven Way. Draco Crab Goyle Darkness, Willow, Vampire, and Bloody Mary looked at each other, and I gasped. Chapter 23 Otter's Note Dut the fuck up, Bickies. You're just jealous because I got one 10,000 reviewers. Thanks to Raven for the help in telling me about the books, Gurlu, Rock, Let's Go Shopping Together. The door opened and Professor Rumbridge and Cornelia Fudge stomped out angrily. Then Dumbledore and Rumbridge sawed us. Mr. What, Miss, Mr. Way, what the beep are you doing here? Rumbridge shouted angrily. Dumbledore bl blared at her. Oops, she made a mistake. She corrupted her. She means hi everybody, come in. Well, we all came in angrily, so did all the other students. I sat between Darkness and Draco, and the opposite Bloody Mary. Crab and Goyle started to make some morbid jokes. They were, they both looked exactly like Vilvalo. I ate some Count Chocula and drank some blood from a cup. <laughs> then I heard someone shooting angrily. I looked behind me, it was. Vampire, Draco, what the fuck, I asked. You fucking bustard, yelled Draco at Vampire. I want my shit next, I want to shit next to her. <laughs> no, I do, shouted. No, she fucking doesn't L like you, you son of a bitch, yelled Draco. No, fuck you, motherfucker, she loves me, not you, shouted Vampire, and then he jumped on Draco. No, not in that way, you perv. They started to fight and beat each other up. 
Dumbledore yelled at them, but they didn't stop. All of a sudden, a terrible man with red eyes and no nose flew in on his broomstick. He had no nose and was wearing a grey robe. All the glass in the windows he flew through fell apart. Brittany, that fucking prep, started to cry. Vampire and Draco stopped fighting. I shooped eating. Everyone gasped. The room fell silent. Volzamort! Ebony! Ebony! Dark Valor said evilly in his raspy voice. Thou hast failed your mission. Now I shall kill thou and I shall kill Vampire as well. If thou does not kill him before then, I shall kill Draco too. Please, don't make me kill him, please, I begged. No, he laughed cruelly. Kill him or I shall kill him anyway. Then he flew away cackling. I burst into tears. Draco and Vampire came to comfort me. Suddenly, my eyes rolled up so they looked all cool and gothic. I had a vision where I saw some lightning flash and then Voldemort coming to kill Draco while Draco slit his wrists in a depressed way. No! I screamed sexily. Suddenly, I locked up and stopped having the vision. Ebony, Ebony, are you alright? asked Draco in a worried voice. Yeah, yeah, I, sud I said sadly as I got up. Everything's alright, Ebony, said Vampire, all sensitive. No, it's not, I shouted angrily. Tears of blood went down my face. OMFG, what if I get possessed like in the ring too? It's okay, girl, said Bloody Mary. Maybe you should ask Professor Sinister about what the visions mean though. Okay, bitch, I said sadly and then went. Chapter 24 Otter's Note Preps, stop flaming the story. You're just jealous, so fuck you, okay? Go to hell. Raven fangs for the help. Well, we had deviation next, so I got to ask Professor Travelori. I don't know how to pronounce that. About the visions. Konnichiwa, everyone, come in, said Professor Sinister in Japanese. She smelled at me with her gothic black lipstick. She, she's the coolest fucking teacher ever. She had long dead black hair with red tips and red eyes. Her mum was a vampire. She's also half Japanese, so she speaks it and everything. She and Bloody Mary get along great. She's really young for a teacher. Today, she was wearing a black leather top with red lace and a long gothic black ripped dress. She, we went inside the black classroom with pastors of Emily the Strong. <coughs> I raised my hand. I was wearing some black nay polish with red pentagrams on it. What is it, Ebony? She asked. Yeah, hey, I love your... Nail polish. Where did you get it? Hot Topic? Yeah, I answered. All the preps who don't know what HT was give it, gave me weird looks. I gave them the middle finger. Well, I have to talk to you about some things. When do you want to do it? How about now, she asked. Okay, I said. Okay, class. Fucking dismissed, everyone, Professor Trevlori said and she let everyone go except for you Brittany she pointed at Brittany and some other preps please do exercises <laughs> one on page three okay I'm having lots of visions I said in a worried voice I'm so worried is Draco going to die well she gave me black crystal ball to lock in I looked at it what do you see? she asked. I said I see a black skull and pentagram. Suddenly there was a knock on the door. I looked at it. It was Draco. He was looking really sexy wearing a black leather facet, a black gothic Lincoln Park t-shirt and black congress. Congress? <laughs> she was... Today you can... 
Okay, you can go now. <laughs> See you, cunt, said Professor Sinister. Bye, bitch, I said, waving. I went to Draco and Vampire was sitting next to him. We both followed Draco together. I was so exhib exhibited. Chapter 25 Otter's Note Stop flaming, okay? If you don't, then I'll tell Justin to beat you up. And I'll tell all the nerds to put verses on your computers. Fuck you, raving. Thanks for the help. I was so excited. I followed Draco wondering if he were to going to do it again. What? We went outside and then we went into Draco's black car. Ebony, what the fuck did Professor Trevlori say? Whispered Draco, point potting his gothic white hand with the black nail polish on mine. She said she would tell me what the visions meant tomorrow, I grumbled in a sexy voice. <laughs> he took out a heroin cabaret and spiked it and gave it to me to spork. He started to fly the car into a tree. He went to the top of it. Draco put on some MCR. I'm not reading that. S Ger sang Gerard's sexy voice. We started tilling of each other's cloves fervently. He took of my black tongue and black leather bar. I took off his trousers. Then he put his throbbing you know what in my tool sexily. OMFG Draco. Draco, I ha screamed having an orgasm. We stated Frenching pa pa passively. <laughs> Suddenly, I fell asleep. I started having a dream. In it, a black guy was shooting two gothic men with long black hair. No, please don't fucking kill us, they pleaded. But he just kept shooting them. He ran away in a red car. No, oh my fucking god, I shouted in a scared voice. Ebony, what's wrong? Draco asked me as I woke up opening my icy blue eyes. I started to cry and tears of blood went down my face. I told Draco to call Vampire. He did with his black Lincoln Park mobile. But the worst thing was who the people who were shot in the dream were. Lucian and Sirius.